Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm taking you on a road trip and actually I'm going to get myself a new watch. It was my birthday, so uh, kind of I need a new watch for my birthday and this is perfect opportunity. This is not an expensive one, but uh, the guy is telling me it's a, like a minty, 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 minty new old stock type of watch. Uh, so instead of uh, doing the mail thing and waiting for a couple of days for the mailman anxiously I'm doing the brave thing and I'm going on a road trip to pick to the other town it's like a three hour drive so by your standards not much but um, over here it's pretty decent drive so uh, me and my girlfriend actually fiance uh, we are going on a little road trip Hopefully I will get to buy the watch for myself uh, and uh, But I'm not gonna tell you what kind of watch is it so stick around and watch Here's a little sneak peek of the another cool vintage watch that has been recently reissued uh, So uh, this is a little sneak peek. It's a super beautiful watch and uh, uh, Stick around subscribe to the channel and you, you'll soon see this one and also find me on Instagram and you will probably catch some photos of the, this one. Hey guys, so I came to the city, I bought the watch, uh, I had a coffee with a guy, I had a drink, we had a drink, uh, it was like forever, uh, and uh, finally I'm here able to do some sightseeing, and uh, when I get home I will show you the watch, but now uh, please enjoy some footage, um, I don't like do vlogging as well, I do, I know I know that you like it, but I don't like doing it. So this is some kind of a naked lady, I don't know the story, but it's a kind of cloudy day, but I will try to show you the river as well.
and of course the inevitable Gulf in Bosnia whether it's a Mark II, Mark I, Mark III or IV like this one the Gulf is the main car in Bosnia it's THE car So, ta-da, yeah, this is it. This is the watch I went to buy. Uh, and uh, it was well worth the trip. And uh, I gotta tell you, this is uh, just perfect example. To all of you guys who, who know watches, who are watch enthusiasts, and also who are watching me, I actually did a video about Seiko Pogue. Uh, this is a uh, Seiko 6139 Pogue, the cold nickname Colonel Pogue. Absolutely thrilled. I'm over the moon with this one. And when I'm telling you I'm over the moon, I will let me just quickly uh, tell you the story. This is one of the moon watches. This is first automatic watch in space. And this is a uh, first automatic. And of course, uh, Watches like Rolex GMT Masters, Breitling Cosmonauts, Omega Moonwatch, Speedmasters. Uh, those are highly collectible watches. There's also Sin 140. Uh, they are very sought after of the collectors, um, especially Sin. Uh, Sin, uh, it was the first automatic chronograph known, I say here, known to be worn in space on the wrist of a German astronaut uh, during the space lab mission in 1985 and Sin is generally being recognized for the first uh, automatic watch in space uh, and it's very collectible popular however 20 years after the space lab mission it came to light that Sin was in fact not the first chronograph automatic chronograph worn in space and that honor goes to this guy here and uh, it has a nice story uh, the discovery of this watch was a uh, first automatic chronograph worn in space occurred in somewhere in 2007 when a, uh, some watch nerd uh, watch enthusiast watch guy like one of me or you or someone they spotted this watch, uh, six, uh, they spotted actually 6139-6002 on the wrist of Colonel Pogue on a NASA astronaut uh, on a Skylab 4, so the mission before Skylab 5. Of course, they pro well, probably contacted him and zoomed in a million times to see the pictures and it was confirmed uh, in 1973, uh, Colonel William Pogue brought his Seiko 6139, this one, this version, uh, uh, on a Skylab 4 mission as part of his personal kit. So the story goes, he, he bought the watch somewhere, I don't know where, and, uh, but even though the watch wasn't flight approved by the NASA, 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 uh, he was allowed to bring it on the flight. Of course, on one wrist he had his Speedmaster, but uh, he used actually his Seiko to time engine burns because he uh, got used to it. He's been training with the Seiko for six months to a year before the mission launch, and uh, he's only been issued his Speedmaster late in the process, and he grown accustomed to the Seiko, familiar, and he also brought it along with him. That's something that's really understandable. 
anyways, after that occurrence, after 2007, uh, that discovery uh, sparked a buying frenzy and collectors started buying this and the prices and values doubled overnight. And uh, of course, uh, his personal budget went actually to space. It was sold uh, in auction, I believe for 6,000 US dollars and it went to the charity. But story, all that aside, uh, this is a very cool watch. It has an automatic column wheel movement. Uh, it's one of the first watches. And Seiko has a six Seiko family of chronographs, automatic chronographs, 6139, 6138. They are pretty high end by today's standards for automatic chronograph movements. They have a column wheel, they are automatic, and uh, they are just awesome. But out of all Seiko chronographs, this one is my favorite because of the funky quirky color combinations and this watch is uh, super super cool and uh, I cannot tell you how happy I am how thrilled I am to finally get one and how I was lucky to get one in such a condition because this condition uh, you can see the brushing and everything it hasn't been touched. I have a feeling that it's set in a drawer somewhere, but I cannot confirm it. And actually, uh, this watch, I don't know. Um, I'm <laughs> just over the moon. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. I I saw many Seiko chronograph 6139 variations and 38, uh, but this is remains one of my favorite color combination. Seiko Panda is also very beautiful and gorgeous in person. Kakume, the blue version, uh, and Pepsi, but this one has that X factor, and the fact that it comes with a story that was a moon watch, uh, it's even. It's even, it's even cooler, and uh, I just love the condition of it because usually uh, you find uh, this inner chapter in white or someone painted painted black, but this one is just, just, just right up my alley and just uh, right in my bang. And I think this is a just a beautiful addition to everyone's collection. It's not that much money. You can buy it under a grand and some really nice examples fetch uh, or closer to thousand dollars but uh, if you hunt if you search uh, you never know so yeah this is uh, just a little uh, my new watch that I decided to share with you guys so if you own one if you uh, if you have one Please do tell me, do you like it? I think it's just gorgeous watch. And point, nothing else to say. I just love it. I wear it nicely, it has a big size. Uh, you can find all the specs and everything online. I'm not gonna bore you with that, but I'm just thrilled and happy uh, that I'm able to share this guy with you. Uh, and it has a full size band and I'm actually reluctant to shorten it just because I don't want to touch it. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. I'm EDC Gunner. Uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and it really means a lot. And uh, until next time, until next watch, stick around and subscribe.